Hi everyone, welcome to our another edition of Full Moon. <laughs> it's coming, I know, and it comes every time. This is the um, this is one of those planets that goes through a cycle more frequent than any other planets. Which okay for you, you shouldn't be only finding it out. You know, it's like last minute. So that's why we are giving you information ahead of time. This is the part of how to use our Full Moon Bundle. But before we go there, I just want to discuss with you guys what is the energy of the Full Moon. When we are dealing with the Moon, this is connected to our intuition. This is connected to our feelings, the way we think. Okay, so it's our mind and our heart connected. This is also uh, um, definitive of how our emotions is um, feeling during this cycle. So this is best, uh, you know, it's called as our yin, which is also our feminine energy inside our body, which we have both feminine and masculine. Now, when we are going through the stage, we would want to address the yin side, which is the feminine side. Now, let's begin with how to use this bundle. Okay, so first things first. During the full moon, I need you guys to one face wherever it's uh, wherever it's uh, coming from your um, point of location. So if it's east, you know, just face towards the east, um, and if it's west, face towards uh, the west side. Now, if you want to go out, that's good, but I would suggest doing it indoors because the next step is lighting our candles. You have here two sets of candles. The first one is your um, intention candles, and then the second one is the goddess candle. Once you have lit up your intention candles, that's the time that you light the goddess candle. This one is for putting your um, intention um, with, with all these candles. So this is the fire element that you're working with, okay? Now, also a reminder, when you're working with candles, never leave it without supervision. So if you are done, make sure you cut it out, okay? Because that one will just be manifesting a fire hazard. Now, next step is surround yourself with a crystal. You have here, what you're getting is the serpentine, angelite, and you, all, um, you have onyx and howlite. So, when I'm doing um, my manifestation, okay, you choose which arm, okay? Because there's the giving and receiving hand, but um, there's always gonna be um, one hand that you use more to the other, okay? Some would be their giving hand is the right one, some is gonna be the taken to the left one. So, when you're doing this manifestation, it, you, you connect with yourself. I know there is specific, but I don't want you to guys be basically, no, the right hand is just for um, reaching out or taking. So I want you to feel whether you're in need or if you are reaching out there. So whichever on that part. So as far as the crystal, so this is for the bracelet that you're getting. You would start now doing your cleansing. You have here your smudge um, kit. You have cedar, sandalwood, and the rainbow fluorite is for also for your crystal. Now, when you're using the smudge um, kit, it's it's best, okay, when you light it, you use the candle, okay? Because that's where you're kind of like working with your intention. And then you basically now sage away and as that smoke, okay, is coming around you, you would start now doing your prayer, which is the prayer mala beads. This has 108 beads. Each one represents the frequency that you would be working with. So repeat that prayer, repeat that mantra. Um, if you are gonna ask me what mantra I use, there is a lot in YouTube that you can find. I do work with Ganesh, I do work with um, Durga. I, I work with a lot of mantra, depending on the vibration or frequency that I am working with. So that's this one. So you just keep going with the flow. And then, then, since you are now in your meditative um, um, stage or um, phase, you can just soak that energy and just allow what you have been putting in tension with, whatever you guys are cleansing, okay? And just maintain that composure, relax, and just, you know, just deep, you know, deep inhale, exhale, and then so as far as like, then you are centered, you can, you can now light your incense. For me, this is more of the closure of, um, of the ceremony that you're putting um, together so that you know from, from starting to light your intention, from cleansing, and then working with the divine, with the universe, as far as your prayers, and then you let it all out with the incense. The incense comes in three forms. So if you're um, manifesting, you know, releasing of karma and healing, you can also have the one for abundance, which is finances and money. 
And the last one is basically for success or what we call addressing also your karma. And these are the things that you'll be getting for our full moon bundle. So I hope you guys have a wonderful um, time with me as I share with you on how I manifest and how I work with the full moon energy. I'll see you again. Bye! Hi Sagis, welcome to my channel. How are you? This is your dailies, 8 to the 9. We have the girl deck as your witness and we'll um, um, do your truth behind the tarot and then we'll proceed with the court case on what you guys have brought for me today. Oh, I'm doing white Venus Day, right? For um, Friday's Venus Day and decked out with onyx to protect your your love for yourself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so all onyx today. This is Angel also. Angel Onyx, okay, if you guys are wondering. Amazing, okay. I never thought I can wear this stuff, to be honest. I'm not like this. <laughs> but maybe I am, I don't know. You tell me, Sag. You, go, you guys go with the flow anyway. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, Sagis. Guess what move? K2, just move into your house. 29 degrees, I checked last night. K2, 29 degrees. That's hardcore. <laughs> the nodes has moved. Mm -hmm. North, uh, uh, the north node, south node. So K2 right now. Uh, Rahu will be now in Gemini. Your seventh house, if you're a Sag rising. Oh, here we go again with the Sag. I said I want to do this fast. <laughs> Your seventh house right now. Okay. Um, is being squeezed. Okay. Um, and there's activation also in the seventh house. As far as like, for example, um, K2 is known to be um, the DNA. So the DNA of the house of partnership of a Sag rising can be also with a Sag moon, but Sag moon is more internal. Um, with the Sag rising, it's active right now. It's like this, you're sleeping. Oh, I'm sleeping, so the person who is, okay, like in a movie, okay, this is how, it, how it's gonna go. You're sleeping like a princess or a prince, yeah, sleeping, sleeping, and then boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, the other person in the opposite side of the world. I'm just doing some cinematics, but they can be just your neighbor, okay? The other person is the other side of the boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom. As far as the planet is connecting right now, it's they're gonna be woke, waking up, and then <gasps> I just saw it, my future partner, the person that I'm supposed to be with. And then now the story starts between the two of you for the next 18 months. This is now how both of you and your karmic partner is being put together. But here's like this though, in any movies with Prince and whatever, there's a lot of trauma, a lot of karma. And that's where you're gonna go, okay, the journey begins. Here we go, love it. The journey begins for my Sag. And also for your Gemini side, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And also, here's the thing. Saturn is in Sag. Oh my god, where am I gonna go with this? Let's, let's stop uh, pause. Saturn is in Sag. Mm hmm. Poor Vashara. Venus is a uh, Venus Nakshatra, also, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, this is about total karmic relationship that you will face. Okay? And it's about waiting for it. And it's coming though, because you waited long. Okay? Let's begin. Okay, the junior. Uh, okay, I need to unplug for the universe. Okay, here we go, here we go. You didn't know, but the person that you're supposed to be with already has boop, a light bulb. A truth behind the tarot. Court case. All rise. Opening statement of this person. King of Wands. Aries energy, okay, feeling driven, feeling woke, feeling ready, fighter, you know, this is someone who is raw, you know, that kind of energy. And this sun, I'm letting, uh, you know, we need to soak in this sun, I love it, okay. Um, I feel like this is them, I feel like this is them, I don't think this is the, this is this person. They're taking action now, a ram, okay. Can be also a Taurus energy. You have a ram and lion over here. Can be Leo, of course, as a fire sign. I sense a Taurus coming also. Someone from afar is coming. Is that here? 
That's the plate. That's the first statement. Ooh. The lovers. I knew it's gonna come. <laughs> I knew it's gonna come. That's why the whole talk with the Gemini card is. I knew it was gonna come. I said, "Wow, interesting." I talk about the Gemini. They didn't give me the first card as Gemini, and I said, "Like, okay, maybe I lost my touch." <laughs> well, I didn't. It's just waiting there. Second card, lovers. Told you. Told you. The best time for you to get your chart done, not by me. Okay, <laughs> by an astrologer is this specific time. It just happened the seventh. The partner is coming. Activation of the seventh house. Gemini. They won't be Gemini. They can be Gemini, but of course, the house. I'm talking about the house. We're not looking at the planet itself. It's active. It's woke today. The karma will begin now. How it works. They're coming for you. Mm hmm. I'm coming for you. They woke. They feel the connection. A lot of. Uh, communication is coming also, as I sense the air here. Mercurial, sensitive, not sensitive emotional, sensitive to their surroundings. As, a, as far as Mercury rules the nervous system, they know, they can sense things, they've been feeling things, and they're natural intuitive also, I feel like this lover's card. Natural intuitive between the two of you. It's like a magical reading. I really hear that drum. And the star card. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Destiny unfolds. The star card. Can we get a more... <laughs> Remember for me, star card is astrology. Mm -hmm. It's oh, It's there now. It's happening. It's in its course. It's moving, acquiring energy. Um, can be a person who's far 11th house, a friend also, because 11th house is friends. A person is gonna gain. When, the, when you guys become together, they're gonna be significant gains with your partner. Mm -hmm. They will finally find their place, their rightful place. Okay? But I feel there is restraint. Okay? Saturn rules Aquarius. Saturn is in Sag. Saturn will make it difficult. You want it, you fight for it. You want it, face your fear. You want it, I'll give it to you, but you have to submit. I'll sat right there. And here we go. Empress card. Uh -huh. Even the omens are speaking. I have Empress. Lovers with an Empress. Venus, I told. Venus is ruling. Okay, the nakshatra of Purva Ashada, which is where Saturn is. Saturn and Venus likes each other. They're good friends. They're the bros. Okay, Venus is here. So Venus is making a decision. Yes. Yes to this union. Yes to the suffering. Yes to the fear. Yes, yes, yes. Let's put these two people together. I hear the planets talking. Where did I go last night? I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, in my, in my world. Probably was having some tea and coffee with the planets. <laughs> Venus. I called Venus. Venus came. Mm -hmm. Libra. Putting into justice. The planet is putting these two people into karmic justice, karmic balance. Closing statement. Eight of Swords. You will wake up soon. Okay, because this uh, the energy here, the angels are removing the fear. Okay, you will be in fear and then you will feel woke. Closing statement. Knave of Wands, younger person, Mer Mercury. Mercury rules all the page. This is what they're telling me right now because it's communication. Okay, but right now Mercury is in retrograde. So communication will be a little bit um, heightened, not less, heightened. This is a lot of... Um, like I told you, very airy. I, I, I told you with that with, uh, with the lover's card. As I see the smoke, the smoke airy. And then they will um, try to talk to you more, try to address stuff between today and the 28th. I love this. The cards have spoken. Let me see now the oracle. Calling the witness. Halfway is convenience, all the way is commitment. Cutting off the hair. Okay, letting go of, just let it go. It's out of control now. 
it's, uh, it's up there now. The planet is active, but my light is totally bright. Okay. I was washed out. Okay. So it's active. Commitment is coming. I told you all the way. They're going to go all the way now. Um, whoever this person is, are very driven coming towards you. I'm going to dig deeper. Next time I read. Could be connecting with the Aries here. Aquarian. Gemini, of course. And you have Venus. Uh, I feel like this person either will have soon a Venus. Let's just say Venus Dasha. Mm -hmm. Can be. I'm not sure why, but that's what can be. That's some at some point. When you get the truth behind the tarot, have a wonderful K2 Rahu um, transit in the next 18 months. Best time for you to get a reading or get a how to say this um, your charts read for Sag. Very very important. I'll see you again. Bye.